Hello everyone, this is Dennis Vasilev. Uh, today I want to share with you a very useful technique called uh, back breathing. So that was a game changer uh, for me when I uh, figured it out and I'm, I'm super excited to share it with you. So uh, it's related to uh, breathing with, uh, with two kettlebells in the rack. And uh, uh, it's very common uh, for beginner athletes who's uh, not into like a kettlebell sport, uh, uh, drills and tips, uh, uh, well, trying, you know, to breathe a uh, normal way as they used to. And when you also catch up your breath, kind of you, you're stretching your chest to make a nice, good inhale. And um, that's something that uh, very difficult uh, to do with uh, two kettlebells on your chest. Uh, and that might be, you know, well, in some cases, the uh, cause of a sort of a panic for uh, beginner athletes because they feel like they're running out of breath and you know sometimes they're dropping the bells or trying to do things that not exactly legal by kettlebell sports standards which is you not know, rolling bells on the on the shoulders so, <clears throat> so again we're here in this position um, stomach is uh, pressed by elbows so we obviously we cannot use a diaphragm breathing much you know cannot really do a good inhale and uh, again kind of like a normal person approach to this situation would be <sighs> breathe like this and it's a really nasty uh, habit uh, to do besides the fact that you might be disqualified uh, for this um, uh, so that's not that's not the option so what's the alternative to that and alternative to that is use a uh, back breathing so instead of trying to stretch the chest, I will try to stretch the back. And that will look like this. I'm standing in the rack. You see what I'm doing? I'm pulling my shoulder blades uh, up and apart. And this way you're expanding your rib cage uh, so it have enough volume to suck the air in. And it doesn't matter from which side really you expand it from the front or from the back. Uh, but well, in our situation, that's really big difference because uh, for this, uh, when you do a back breathing, your rate fixation has been getting better because you're kind of digging elbows even deeper in your stomach. So you're not interrupting your rec fixation, you're not making a judge upset, and you have a <laughs> enough air. <laughs> and you will not need a, such a deep breath every single rep, but well, maybe once a minute. You know, once in 30 seconds, depends how intense is your set. So a good quality, deep breath, that totally helps you to control your heart rate and uh, totally, uh, you know, complements your, uh, your lifting technique and not interrupt the rec fixation at all. Try to use it, let me know what you think. Good luck.